from a sack of fruit containing three bananas, three oranges, and three apples, a random sample of four pieces of fruit is selected. Suppose X is the number of bananas and Y is the number of oranges. Find the probability uh, distribution of X and Y. Okay. X is the bananas and Y is the oranges. So uh, from here, we see that X is in this row and Y is over here. So over here, we are working with x0, y0, x1, y0, x2, y0, x3, y0, x4, y0. So, so it goes from zero to four because you're picking four pieces of fruit. And uh, in this, uh, the maximum number of any fruit is four, although from the given conditions, the maximum number of any type of fruit can be three. So X uh, is the number of bananas and Y is the number of oranges. So first, we have an X is zero, Y is zero. So we're talking zero bananas and zero oranges. Zero bananas, zero oranges, which means all the three, so, the way to pick zero bananas from three bananas is three C zero. And the way to pick zero oranges from three oranges is three C zero. And the way to pick, so it's the total number of, total pieces of fruit are four. So if you are picking zero bananas and zero oranges, it means you have to have four apples, but you have only three apples. So three C four. Over number of ways to pick four pieces of fruit from nine because three, 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 there are nine pieces of fruit. Now, this probability is zero because it's not possible to pick four apples from three pieces of fruit. So there's no way if you pick three pieces, if you pick four pieces of fruit, there's no way that there's going to be zero bananas and zero oranges because then apples have to make it up. There are only three apples. So this probability is zero. This is not possible. Okay, so now we go to x1, y0. So one banana, x is the bananas. So one banana out of three. Again, zero oranges out of three. And then it has to be three apples out of three in order to make the total four fruits. And in the bottom, we have nine C4. Okay. So on the top, you have three combination one, which is three, the other two are ones. And let's calculate what's nine combination four, nine combination four is 126. So this simplifies to one over 42. So this one is one by 42. Okay. So here we have uh, two bananas and zero oranges. So two bananas out of three. Three C2, again, zero oranges out of three. And now since the total pieces of fruit are four, so out of the three apples, two apples need to be picked to make a total of four fruits. Right? So this is two bananas, zero oranges. And we have to have two apples in order to make a total of four. Okay, so three combination two is three, three zero and three two are both one and again over 126. So again, one by 42. Okay, and now three, but X is three, which means three bananas. So three C three, three bananas out of three, again, zero oranges. And now to make up a total of four, we have to pick one apple out of the three apples. And the total is again, nine combination four, because you're picking four pieces of fruit from a total of nine. So now, the top is one, the bottom is still 126. The top is three. 
because we have this three combination one. So three by 126, so it's again one by 42. One by 42 again. And now action equal to four means four bananas. Now you can't pick four bananas out of only three. So that is right away zero. Say three, one, one, that's three over one twenty six. Three. Oh, so this is a three and this is a three. So this one is a nine. Nine, nine by one twenty six. So that would be one by fourteen. And this one was two bananas and zero oranges. So this is this one. So this is one by 14. Okay. And now we are coming to y is equal to one. All right. Let's just go to a new page. Okay, x zero, y one. So picking zero bananas out of three, one orange out of three, and that means you have to pick up three apples out of three in order to make a total of four. And this is nine C four as always. And now you just have a three on the top over 126. So that's one by 42. Okay. So this time it's one and one, one banana out of three, one orange out of three, and therefore it has to be two apples out of three over nine C four. And now we have all of these are threes, three, this is three, this is three, and this is three. So you actually have 20, so let's do three, three, three over 126. 42, 14, so now we have three out of 14. So now two bananas and one orange. So two bananas out of three, one orange out of three means you have to have one apple out of three to make a total of four. So this time we have a nine on the top and 126 on the bottom. So that's one by 14. And actually, we again have a 27 on the top because this is three, this is three, this is three. So 27, and that would be three out of 14. Mm -hmm. And then three bananas and one orange. Three bananas out of three, one orange out of three, and therefore zero apples because we already have the total of four. Nine C four. So now we have a three in the top and 126. So one by 42. And again, there's no way you can pick four bananas since there are only three bananas. So that one is zero again. Okay. So now we have zero bananas and two oranges. So let's see, zero bananas. Let's go to a new page. Zero bananas out of three, two oranges out of three. And that, that means that we also have to have two apples out of three to make a total of four. Nine C four. So now we have nine over 126 equals one by 14. So 
So one banana and two oranges. So one banana out of three, two oranges out of three, and therefore one apple in order to make up correct four. So now three, three, three. Now it's 27 over 126, and that would be not three over 14. Okay, two bananas and two oranges. So two bananas out of three, two oranges out of three, and therefore no apple because we already have a total of four. So that's nine. And that's one by 14. Okay, three bananas and two oranges is impossible because that's a total of five and you're only picking four fruits. So that's zero right away. Similarly, four bananas and two oranges are impossible to pick when the total is four, that's zero. <laughs> okay, so now we have zero bananas and three oranges. So zero bananas, so let's do a new page. So zero bananas out of three, three C zero, three oranges out of three, so three C three, and therefore it has to be one apple, make a total of four, nine C four. So that is three out of 126, one by 42. one banana and three oranges. So one banana out of three, three oranges out of three. So therefore no apple because we already have a total of four. So that's again three out of 126, that's one by 42. And then two bananas and three oranges is impossible because it's a total of five and we're only picking four. Similarly, three and three is a total of six, which is impossible. And four and three is a total of seven, which is impossible. Okay, zero and four. So zero zero bananas out of three and four oranges is impossible because only three oranges are available. So in fact, this whole row is zero because it's saying four oranges and you can never pick four oranges since only three oranges are available. Now you have to find the probability x plus y is less than or equal to three. So you add up all the numbers where x plus y is less than or equal to three. So first entry, yeah. Then one by 42 is also fine. One by 14, so all the first row, no. Oh yeah, all the first row counts because in all the first row, the X and Y add up to less than or equal to three. So the last one is zero plus three, which is less than or equal to three. This one doesn't matter anyways, because it's a zero probability. So in the second row, you count this entry, this entry, and this entry, because up to this entry, x, uh, x is two, y is one, so that's three, but you don't count this one by 42, because here x is three, and y is one, and they add up to four, which is greater than three. So you just add the first three entries, one by 42, 
plus 3 by 14 plus 1 by 42. And then over here in the third row, you add only the first two entries because in this third entry, x is 2, y is 2, and they add up to 4, which is greater than 3. We just add up the first two entries, plus 1 by 14, plus 3 by 14. And then in the third row, you just add the first entry because when x is 0, y is 3. So here, the sum of 0 and 3 is still equal to 3. But in the next one, the 1 plus 3 add up to 4. So you add only 1 by 14 from the next row. Uh, no, only 1 by 42, only this one. So let's see, all these add up to uh, 1 plus 3, 4, 5, 6, plus 9, 15, plus 1, 10, plus 3, 13, plus 9, 22, plus 1, 23. 23 by 42 is what I'm getting. Okay, so I added incorrectly. So 1 by 42, 1 by 14, 1 by 42, 1 by 42, 3 by 14. Oh, so in the second row, 1 by 42, 3 by 14, and 3 by 14. So this was not 1 by 42, but 3 by 14. It was this entry. And then in the next one, it was 1 by 14 and 3 by 14. Yeah. And then the next one it was 1 by 42. Oh, just now that's corrected. 1 plus 3 is 4. 5, 6 plus 9 is 15. Plus 9 is 24. Plus 3, 27. Plus 9, 36. Plus 1, 37. 37 out of 42. Okay. 